Welcome to this session on slab penetrations. In this session, we will add penetrations to the slabs to allow for the vertical circulation in the building core, utilizing the place opening tool. Of course, these penetrations need to be coordinated with the architectural model. So we will attach the architectural model as a reference to locate the penetrations. On the Explorer Links tab, navigate to the architectural file AA Floor Office 1 under the Supplemental Models folder. Drag and drop the file into V1. Set the attachment method to Interactive and select OK. Attach Coincident with Live Nesting set to a depth of 1. Ignore Attachment should be toggled on and Locate can be toggled off. In the Floor Selector, select Floor 2. Now turn on the Isolate Active Floor toggle. Maximize your top-oriented view with a wireframe display style and fit the view. Select the Opening tool from the Structural Elements group. The Property panel opens showing the catalog properties for the place user-defined penetrations and the ribbon now displays the placement tab with options for side and base offsets for our placement of the penetration. In the property panel, set the catalog item to slab penetration rectangular. Check to see that the relative active ACS is enabled and the sense distance is set to one foot or 300 millimeters. Set the width to four feet or a thousand millimeters and the length to 8 feet or 2,000 millimeters. We will actually modify the penetrations to fit the opening once it is placed. On the placement ribbon, the side and base offset should be set to zero. Following the prompt, snap to the interior corner of the stairwell walls in the referenced architectural model. Again, following the prompt, use AccuDraw to set the rotation of the penetration. Accept or left-click to place the penetration then reset or right click to end the tool. Now we will use the edit handles of the penetration to adjust the width and the length. Select the X opening indicator. Round handles will now display on the upper right and lower left corners of the penetration. Note also that the heads up dimensions are displayed for the width and length, and these can be used to modify the dimensions numerically. Drag the upper right handle to the upper right corner of the stairwell. Then drag the lower left handle to the lower left corner of the stair visor. Now the penetration aligns with the architectural model. Repeat this process for the two lift shafts and the other stairwell. You now have slab penetrations coordinated with the architectural model. In the next session, we will move to foundations and model some spread footings. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you and see you next time.